This is the new Mini Motors Dualtron Thunder 2. It has more than twice the range of most electric scooters. It makes more than twice the power of its predecessor, the Dualtron Thunder. And if you buy it from one retailer in the US, it comes with twice the warranty. In this review, we're gonna resist focusing on how ridiculously fast it is, and instead show you how the Thunder 2's build makes it the best scooter to own for the long haul. And because we're ESG, we'll put all four of these top shelf scooters through the same test to see how the Thunder 2 stacks up. The new Thunder 2 draws a ton of attention. Its ultra-modern rubber deck and machined aluminum footrest make it instantly recognizable. And then, of course, there are the swag lights. But some of the best things about the Thunder 2 aren't obvious, even if you've read the owner's manual. If you look close, though, there are hints, like the badge on the front that low-key brags, no flat tires. It's stuff under the surface that makes the Thunder 2 a great scooter with which to have a long-term relationship. It has the highest price tag of the four, partly due to having a very large battery. With 72 volts and 2,880 watt hours, it's the largest battery we've ever seen. Aside from being huge, it's also made with LG automotive grade 21700 cells, giving it unbeatable range versus weight. Underneath, the massive motor controllers are thermally coupled to the deck. Even after a half mile top speed run, pushing 120 total amps, the heat sink was still cool to the touch. The combination of seemingly bottomless range and flat proof tires makes you feel like like you can just keep riding until you run out of range, not the scooter. Even the best scooters aren't perfect though. Just like our 2020 Thunder, the Thunder 2's rear fender began to rattle after the first 50 miles. You'll need a shortened Allen wrench and a little Loctite to correct this. It also wouldn't be a Dualtron review if we didn't mention Stem Squeak. It's an easy fix, but we're gonna keep calling it out till they fix it. The awesome looking ultra modern rubber deck is easy to clean, but has less traction than conventional grip tape. But adding a little grip tape of your own gets the traction back. The solid rims are easy to separate from the motors, so you won't have to wrestle with motor cables if you do a tire change. And if you buy a spare set of rims, you can switch between on-road and off-road tires just by swapping out rims. No tire levers required. We tested the new flat-proof tires, and they really work. The tires prevent flats with an incredibly stretchy, soft rubber coating bonded to the inside surface. It's nearly impossible to puncture, but even if penetrated, it seals right up, losing zero air pressure over the next 24 hours. Unlike tire slime, this method of flat-proofing doesn't make a gooey mess when you remove the tires from the wheel. The Thunder 2 gets a new cast aluminum control box for turn signals, swag lights, hazard lights, riding modes, and it gets a horn, a feature earlier Dualtrons lacked. The backlit stainless steel switches give the scooter a next generation feel, despite retaining the classic EY3 throttle. And the eco mode button stays pressed in for eco mode and out for turbo mode, so you can tell what mode you're in before you squeeze the throttle. The cables look very tidy, but aren't plug and play, so component changes are going to take a little longer. The swag lights and remote control are outstanding, but a scooter this fast really deserves a bright, high-mounted headlight. So if you're going to ride at night, definitely plan on adding an aftermarket rechargeable light like this one. Finally, the Thunder 2 gets a beefy and adjustable side stand. Your side stand is the last part of the scooter you interact with each day, so it's nice to walk away from a scooter that feels solid and not wobbly. In top performance mode, grabbing full throttle on the Thunder 2 is mind-blowing. Then, if you double-click, you get another 1,680 watts. That's like adding the power of another scooter. It feels like you've suddenly caught a huge tailwind, shoving you right past the original Thunder's top speed. The Thunder 2 can break the speed limit on just about any hill you can find. It recorded the third quickest hill climb ever, scaling our 10% grade 200 foot long test hill in just 6.7 seconds, just behind the Nami Burn E and the Wolf King GT. Feel free to crush hills everywhere you go because you're very unlikely to need the battery power later. If you suffer from range anxiety, the Thunder 2 could be the cure. It went further than any of the 80 scooters we've ever tested, covering 59.5 miles in top performance mode. If I used it for my two mile per day commute, I'd only have to charge it once a month. If you've got enough space and an underdeveloped sense of self-preservation like I do, holding the throttle at WFO will bring you to a top speed of 58.3 miles per hour, or about 63 miles per hour on the speedometer. On level ground, that's 41 seconds of fighting your better judgment before top speed finally maxes out. The nut hydraulic brakes and 160 millimeter rotors feel solid, stopping from 15 miles per hour in 10.1 feet. 
any scooter near the 10 foot mark is among the world's best. It will stop even shorter with the rear footrest removed since it allows an even more aggressive braking stance. The original Thunder has identical brakes, but outstops the Thunder 2 because of the improved stance. The Thunder 2 has premium folding handlebars and a stem that can last to the deck, but unfortunately not at the same time. It's already not that portable at over 104 pounds, but this makes it even less so. It's too heavy to lift one-handed, and oh, even if you could, this one definitely does not pass the trunk test. Also at 104.2 pounds, it's too heavy to lift one-handed by the stem. That said, the rear footrest and grab handle is a big plus if you need to lift it onto a workbench. Hey everybody, Ray Mir here with Electric Scooter Guy, and I'm here to talk about the Dualtron Thunder Dose. It's zippy, it's fast, you expect that with Dualtron. Let me get into things that I like about the scooter. I like how it's fast, I like all the performance specs, but undercover, I like the kickstand. When you get these heavy duty scooters and you have those flimsy kickstands, I hate it. Like you, you spend all this money and now you gotta worry about it tipping over when you put it down. And now with this one, you know, boom, it's solid, it feels nice, but you can also expect the short stem. If it was one thing I didn't like, that was my major con. The short stem, it's like, come on, 2022. Can we please have all taller stems? If it came a little bit higher, I'd be satisfied. But to find out if it's truly big dog approved, check the ESG website and I'm out. Dualtron scooters are known for excellent ride quality, mainly because of their awesome adjustable suspension cartridges, which swap out if you want to change ride stiffness. Aside from being tunable, this type of suspension is lightweight, and the damping effect of the rubber keeps the scooter from bouncing over hard bumps. The larger Dualtrons are set up a little too stiff for my 165 pound rider weight, but does tend to soften up over time and also in warmer weather. The new rear footrest and taillight looks great, but at 45 degrees, the incline section is a lot steeper than typical, and the hole in the middle takes some getting used to. Here's something cool though. Unlike every other scooter we can think of, the Thunder 2's footrest makes it a little bit like having a convertible. You can keep the footrest in place for aggressive riding or remove it in less than five minutes to get 2.2 inches more deck space. For really long rides, like our range test, we liked having the extra space. Normally, we think of eco mode as boring mode. On the Thunder 2, however, we found ourselves using eco mode almost all the time when we weren't testing performance because the Thunder 2's eco mode is actually really fun and it'll even spin the front wheel. It's not as smooth and seamless as having a sine wave controller, but does a good job of giving you whatever you want, whether you're touring around or drag racing. Pros include longest range we've ever tested, flat proof tires, removable footrest, and swappable rims. Cons include no IP rating, and needs a bright, high-mounted headlight. The Thunder 2's build is rock solid, and the way it's designed gives you a ton of flexibility. With 60 miles of range, it could even make a great delivery scooter. We think this is a scooter you're gonna wanna keep for the long haul. Wanna see how the Thunder 2 compares with the 2020 Dualtron Thunder? Check out our video about the top 10 differences. Or if 58 miles per hour just isn't fast enough for you, Here's our full review of the world's fastest production scooter, the Cabo Wolf King GT.